here we are discussing very important topic that is the acid properties of a transaction it is also very important for our exams so we are having four acid properties of a transaction a c i d so they are nothing but atomicity consistency isolation durability so it is a c i d so that's why it is called acid properties so acid properties of a transaction there are four acid properties of a transaction the first one is known as the atomicity a transaction is an indivisible unit that means it cannot be divided further either it will be executed in full or not at all partial execution of a transaction is not possible so that's why this term is very important that is it is indivisible unit the recovery subsystem is responsible for atomicity next point is our consistency we know that whenever a transaction will get executed before that the database state should be consistent and after execution of the transaction completely the database should find itself in another consistent state it is responsible it is it is the responsibility of the dbms and application developer so that each transaction must transform the database from one consistent state to another consistent state so prior to execution of the transaction and after the execution of the transaction two states whatever the database is having must be consistent okay next one is our isolation we know that in parallel concurrently so many transactions will be executing and taking place each and every transaction will leave its own individual effect onto the database so whenever multiple transactions are taking place at the same time say in case of credit card server the so server which is dealing with credit card related transactions so so many card punches are taking place swapping are taking place so so many transactions are reaching at the same time at the same instant of time concurrently in parallel to the database server so all those transactions will leave their individual effects onto the database so it is the it is the responsibility of the concurrency control subsystem to ensure isolation where each transaction can execute independently so that is very important so that partial effects of each transaction should not be visible to the other transaction so that's why each and every transaction will leave their individual effects onto the database as if that transaction was working in solo not in parallel not in simultaneously with other transactions the last property in the acid property set is durability here the last letter is d so that is the durability it is the responsibility of the recovery manager to record permanently the effects of a successfully completed transaction and must not be lost due to subsequent failures so that means what about the transactions are taking place which is making or which is which will have a transition from a consistent state of the database to another consistent state of the database the transaction should have a durable that means the transaction should have some effect which is permanent onto the database subsequent failure should not make the transaction effect lost from the database so each and every transaction must be durable in nature so atomicity consistency isolation and durability these are the four acid properties of a transaction thanks for watching this video